Hey guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel. Um, I just posted a video with my uh, F-18 uh, Maiden and had somebody in one of the uh, Facebook groups that I linked that video in how he can calibrate his ESC. Uh, because one of the issues with the Maiden flight was I had not calibrated the ESC. And if you don't do that, you're going to experience some problems, especially if you're not getting enough power in your plane. So... I'm going to show you guys real quick how to calibrate the ESC and this is really something that you should do with every new airplane that you get or any time that you replace one of your speed controls you need to calibrate your ESC every time or you can run into the same kind of issues where you're running too low on power and you're going to end up putting your plane in and, uh, and that's no good. So uh, the first step is go ahead and grab your transmitter, grab a battery and grab your plane. So. Today we're working with an IX-12 and an E-Flight Commander. It doesn't matter what kind of radio you're using. Uh, it works the same with Spectrum, uh, Tactic, Futaba, Free Sky, doesn't matter. Um, and, you know, the airplane doesn't matter. Most ESCs are going to work the same way. So what we're going to do is we want to put the ESC into programming mode. And then typically the first series of beats that you hear after the ESC goes into programming mode that is your throttle calibration. You don't want to go into any more series of beeps. So as soon as you hear that first series of beeps, you want to run your throttle down. So the way we get it into programming mode is we put the throttle, we go ahead and, and get our radio, and we put it on the aircraft that, that we're working with. So here you can see that I've got it set to my uh, E-Flight Commander, um, and we're gonna go ahead and put the throttle at 100%. Right, and then we uh, grab our battery, and uh, so on the commander. Now, by the way, guys, I've got the propeller attached. Usually, anytime you're working on an airplane inside your house, you don't want to have the propeller attached. It's a do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do moment. You know, classic parenting move. Don't, uh, don't keep your propeller attached. Now, move out of the way, dog. Move out of the way, dog. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is go uh, move out of the way, dog. Rusty, come here. <laughs> you don't want to get hit with this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the speed control. Plug in your battery. And listen for the beeps. Bitch and baby. That's our first series of beeps. We're gonna go ahead and put our throttle to zero and then listen for the ESC. Now it just initialized with the four beeps to let us know, hey, I'm ready to start flying. Now, you know, we can go ahead and test our throttle. Again, this is a do as I say, not as I do moment. Um, we'll go ahead and run the throttle. <laughs> And uh, we can see that it's responsive through the entire throttle range and it's got that punch that we expect. And, uh, and that's all there is to it. Uh, calibrating your ESC, again, the steps are put your throttle at 100%, plug your battery into your speed controller, wait for the first series of beeps. As soon as the series of beeps happens, you wanna go ahead and move the throttle back to zero. You'll hear your ESC initialize and then you're good to go. You can go flying. That's it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe, uh, hit the bell for uh, notifications when I put out new videos. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.